Hello and welcome back to the Bad Back Gardener. Today we're going to do a little uh, update video on uh, the progress of the, the stuff I've planted in the garden so far in the early spring here. We'll give you a quick update, show you how stuff is growing and what may not be growing. So stay tuned here. Okay, we'll first start out here. We'll start out with the uh, peas that I, I planted. You may have seen that in the video here. These are the original peas in through here that I planted. This side here came up actually better. These were the super sugar snack peas and this was the uh, I believe tender peas. I can't remember the exact name right now but these ones the the place I got them off of actually sent me two packs for one because they said the germination rate wasn't real good and they were correct it wasn't I had to go back and replant some of this area here but the onions are all coming up and my second planting of peas which I did on both sides here is now starting to come up through as you can see they're starting to starting to poke up through now for these ones here so they're, they're filling in now so we should be good to go but these super sugar snacks really come up nice and the onions are all growing here this was in the first bed we did and then over here we have this is the two rows of lettuce I planted you may have seen in the video they come up really good and then right next door here is the uh, radishes that I planted and they come up good here except for this little section here and I think I actually only had a few seeds left and I put them in there I got a little space in there then uh, here I think last week or week and a half ago I planted another row of lettuce and two more rows of radishes and they're just starting to come up through now but they're kind of trying to almost catch up with the other ones alright then we'll come up here the next bed and these are the turnips that I planted you may have seen that video and they come up really nice so they're they're coming on and then here was the onions you may have seen me plant these are the purple onions some of the purple onions they're all coming up good and then here Here is the carrot bed. Now these ones are going to be, they're thinner. They come up, but they're just thin. So let me see if I can't get in good enough so you can see them coming up there. They did pretty good. They come up pretty good. A couple spots were a little bare, but all in all they come up pretty good. Alright. This is where I planted the rest of my onions. And they're all coming up good. In a different bed here. So there's white and purple mixed in here. And I planted them both ways. I planted them with uh, making a, a row hilled up and then I planted them just as scattered planting like I showed you in one of the videos. And if you haven't caught this video yet, I just released here not too long ago was I planted I had some store-bought potatoes that had went to started sprouting so I planted those and I didn't know how they were going to come up but as you can see there there's some over there they're just starting to poke up through now so they are growing they, they all didn't just rot away like I was afraid they might so we'll see how if I get potatoes out of them at all. Mm -hmm. And over here we have my tomatoes that I planted. Now there's more here than when you last seen. These four here were the first four I planted. And then here not too long ago, I planted 
eight more. So I got a total of a dozen in right now. So there, I had enough TPs for 11. So you can see one is kind of surrounded by the TPs, which kind of works the same way. As long as they're surrounded by them, it, it helps them out some. These ones are coming up good. These are the ones I just planted. And they're all still looking good inside. You can see down in there, they're all coming up. And they're starting to get dark green. And then these are the first four I planted, which are really doing good. They've grown way above their tomato teepees and got all kinds of buds on them. And we even got some tomatoes. If you can see the tomatoes there. We've got some green tomatoes coming, so they're doing real good out in the garden. So hopefully that means early tomatoes this year. Now, if you've seen me in a recent video of cilantro, when I planted it, it's starting to peek out through. If you can see that, I had it inside a couple, a little bit, so it would stay warm to germinate correctly. So that seems to be working real good. Okay, we're back inside here to my plant area, my plant stand, and I'll show you what I got going in here. There's my some peppers over here, some peppers. That's one of my tray of tomatoes, and it's getting way too big for being inside. I need to get that outside to start uh, so it can green up some more, and it's starting to just get too close to the lights and stuff, so that needs to go outside. There is the same deal with my toilet paper roll tomatoes. They're getting way too big. They're reaching above the lights now. I need to get them outside. Another flat of tomatoes I planted. They're getting too big. Here's the peppers. A couple flats of peppers. They're doing pretty good. They're starting to get big. And my most recent flat of tomatoes is looking pretty good. They'll they're getting kind of tall and lanky too. And then these indoor plants, my tropical plants, are doing real good. Alright, and here's the front bed where you've seen the you may have seen the ornamental grass video. There it is, it's all growing after I trimmed it. Got some flowers coming up and some daylilies. Here is my cone flowers. They're really popping up too, and, these, and also ornamental grasses that, that I trimmed. But the cone flowers are they're really spreading out and coming up. And you may have seen this this one in my spring Easter video. Flowers are all coming up. Okay, that's going to finish our tour up of the 
garden. It'll be our first tour, and here in a couple of weeks, we'll give it another another tour and show you how how things are growing then. And uh, not too bad, it's coming along. So that's about it for this video. If your back ain't hurting, you ain't working. <laughs>